Hey, let's talk about how to throw a pizza dough. Start by cleaning a large surface to stretch on. Countertop, kitchen table, or large cutting board works great. Flour the work surface well, making sure there's no sticky areas. Make sure you have plenty of flour on your hands as well. No matter how you store your dough balls, it's important to try and retain a ball shape as best you can when preparing to stretch your dough. A little flour on top of your dough ball can help when removing it from its container. It's very difficult to make a non-circle back into a circle again. Make sure you get both sides well floured. Keep track of which side of the dough ball was the top. That side should become the bottom of your pizza when you go to cook it. Once the dough ball is well floured, mark the area that will become your crust. You want this to be about a half inch from the outer rim of the dough ball. Everything inside of that marked point needs to be degassed. Mm -hmm. Press firmly with your palm all around the inside of the pizza until all the gas has been pressed out. Avoid the crust area or you will have a flat crust. Pick up your dough and wipe your hand around the table to make sure that no sticky areas have developed. Now place the palm of one hand down and hold the dough while you stretch clockwise with the other hand. Release the dough and rotate until you work your way around the entire dough ball. You'll continue this method until it's about 50 to 75% fully stretched. Again, stretching inside of the crust line mark. Pick up your dough and throw it between both hands to get as much flour off as possible. During this final stretch, you'll let the dough rest on your knuckles. With the dough resting on your knuckles, slowly stretch it by pulling your hands apart. Work your way around the entire dough. At this point, you should be able to identify the thicker areas of dough that need to be stretched a little further. Avoid the thin spots that do not need to be stretched. Also, do not stretch the center of the pizza too far. An overly thin center will result in a floppy slice. Nobody likes a floppy slice. If you happen to get a rip in your dough, don't freak out. Just place the dough down and lay one side of the rip over the other. Add a little extra flour on top and under the dough. Gently press the dough flaps into each other and you're good to go, like it never happened. Once your dough is stretched, place onto the peel of your choice with some semolina or cornmeal. Now you're ready to top and launch your pizza. Here's the whole dough stretching process in real time. 